so excited about how music fits well with missions. Um, in fact, there's some things that happen through music that can happen no other way. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about how acapella has been used all around the world, specifically uh, Brazil comes to mind. Uh, there are so many people that will come to a concert that would never come to an advertised uh, sermon or, or a preaching session. Uh, yet, the concert has been, we've seen over and over, has been an evangelistic outreach that the local church can use to uh, follow up. And we've heard of, of how the outreach was so greatly enhanced after, uh, even after the concert. Uh, we, we've seen that in Sao Paulo, Brazil, some of our largest concerts we've ever had in our history in that major metropolitan area. Yet, we've also sung in uh, Manaus uh, the very origin of the Amazon, where um, you know so many people couldn't speak English, but they loved a cappella. And through the outreach of the church there, the billboards all over town, and and the uh, uh, the work of the local church that we partner with, uh, they were able to draw huge crowds. And that wouldn't have happened any other way. We're so excited about seeing that firsthand. And, and how music can be used to really touch and reach this generation. Uh, we've seen that in Japan and in Africa and in Europe and all across uh, North and South America. Uh, I'm, I'm very thankful to be uh, blessed to see how God is using a cappella right on the front lines in ministry. People constantly say, oh, I was reading my Bible yesterday and I got to now to him who is able to do and I couldn't help but sing. Or I was, you know, I hear that over and over that people while reading their Bible, they didn't realize they knew so many scriptures and it was hidden away in their heart because they knew the songs. It's invigorating to travel the world and see how many people listen to a cappella music. And so much of our music is, is straight from Scripture. Well, when I heard a cappella singing, it was more like um, hope. It brought hope, you know, to, to my life. Because at the time, I was... Um, I had no life, okay? I was eating basically from leftover, seriously, from food thrown out. My restaurants, you know, I would go there, you know, and get food from there, you know, I would live on the streets. And I had nowhere to go until, you know, we started singing a cappella. A cappella actually, you know, they uh, singing their songs. They actually gave us, you know, you know, hope and a place to live and a place, you know, a place we call our, our, our home that gave us food, clothing, and shelter. It actually gave us some sense of direction, you know, and a future to look forward to. So that's why, you know, you know, every time I, I listen to the group a cappella, you know, I have a retrospective mind to go back and see that truly God was really in the God used this group to be a blessing to, to my life. And why I am today, I always thank God for this group, you know, because if it hadn't been that God used them to put food on our tables and to help to bless others that did not have, I wouldn't, you know, when I've been here by now. I recently had the opportunity to join the Lancaster family when they took their trip overseas and did concerts all across Northern Europe. We went to churches in England, France, and Belgium. When I had stepped out of the building, there was a gentleman outside who was wearing his work clothes. He was pretty dirty. You could tell he'd been working um, hard that day. And, uh, but he kept just coming around the door trying to listen to the music. And so um, even though I don't know any French, I was able to communicate with him and try to tell him, come on in and we'd love to have you in here and listen to the music. Um, and he kept saying, no, no, I'm too dirty, just pointing how, out how filthy he was. And of course we didn't care, but he was too embarrassed, I guess, to come in. So he left and a few minutes later, I noticed that he showed back up, but this time he had 
run somewhere and taken a quick shower and changed clothes and was even able to um, pick up his wife or his girlfriend. And, um, and they both walked in kind of hesitantly, but they were really enjoying the music. And it was the music that, that drew them in in the first place. And um, that church had, had been in that same location for years and years and years. Um, but without the concert and the music, flowing through the streets as it did. I just don't don't know if he ever would have stepped foot in that church. And I just think that that goes to show how important it is to have overseas missions, even in a city like Paris, France, where you think this is, this is a tourist attraction, this isn't a mission field, but it really is because the churches there are struggling. They're so small and they don't get to have groups like the Lancaster family or acapella or, or um, AVB or Vocal Union, any of these kinds of groups coming in on any kind of regular basis. and. Um, as edifying as it was for the people in the church, it really serves as a mission tool to bring in the people off the streets in a developed city like that. My wife Gail and I have been missionaries in Brazil for 31 years. Our role in leadership development, church staff relationships, and mission team formation has allowed us to travel to all the major cities of Brazil. We have been blessed and honored to work with a cappella on their mission tours the past two years. Without a doubt, they've been one of the most effective evangelistic tools we've seen in our work in Brazil. I have seen, literally, people line up early in the rain and cold to get the best seats in churches for their presentations. Every time they present in a church building, it fills up to standing room only. In the two years they sang in Brasilia, they filled the building four times. No other event in that church's history has been so effective. Hundreds and hundreds of contacts have been made with people who would probably never go to a church building. Young people are excited and proud to bring their friends to an amazing worship experience. I'm excited about these musical missionaries who are able to evangelize through song and testimony, inspire local churches about a cappella singing, and impact the lives of the thousands of Brazilians they come into contact with. The a cappella company has helped spread the gospel through music for many years. But now we need your help. Cities and countries all over the world are reaching out and begging to have the a cappella company groups in Keith Lancaster come to their churches as an outreach to their community and an encouragement to their hearts. We cannot do this alone. A cappella ministries need your support to fund these mission trips and to continue reaching people through music ministry. For your gift of $15 a month today, we want to send you a CD of your choice. For your gift of $30 a month, we would like to send you two CDs. For your gift of $45 a month, we'd like to send you four CDs as a thank you. If you or your church can afford to help this ministry through financial means or through prayer, we would be eternally grateful. You come to my rescue. rescue.